Alright, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadai Kiro Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Mekai Kodash. Double honors to Yahweh's and Apostles of Great Millstone. Right, so today uh, we're going to go over Isaiah chapter 52. Right, this is just a uh, uh, brief analysis of the uh, Hebrew text. Right. And also, right, we're going to touch on prophecy, right, because that's what it's about, right, it's about, right, the prophecies, the things that will come to pass, right, shortly as Yahweh Shem Shai is hastening the day uh, for his people, right, the remnant, right, of, of, uh, of, the, of the Israelites, right, which are the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right, so we'll start at uh, Isaiah 52 and verse 1, right? So this is uh, from Blue Letter, uh, Bible.com, right? It says, right, and it says on the header, cheer for prostrate Zion, right? Because right now, right, we are like the, uh, the, 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 the curses of Deuteronomy 28 say what? That we are the tail, right? And these other nations, right, have been uh, exalted, right? But Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Salakia, soon, right, will make us, right, uh, uh, like scriptures say, right, those that are, the, that are the most feeble, right, will be as David, and those that the house of Judah will be as God, as the Elohim, right? Because, right, for those that study, right, the Hebrew, right, the, the, the curses say, right, or, or the blessings, right, when we receive the blessings, right, we're going to be most high above all nations, which is in the Hebrew is Eliah 1. Actually, let's get that real quick. Oh. And or Elah, which is just means to be exalted, right? But that is also when you say when you use the term Most High, it's it's the same uh, terminology. It's the same in the Hebrew, the same Hebrew word Eliah one, right? But right now, right, we're in the lowest state, right? We're in nation of exile, right? We are brought down low, right? Um. So let's get that right. And we have lost our comeliness, right? Part of that comeliness is what? Which is in the Hebrew pa para, uh, par, right? Which is right the order that comes with the the understanding of the law, right? Like recently, I saw a sister online that I have on my Facebook, right? She uh. uh she she made a good point, right? That that the that the law has what? Dietary laws, moral and civil laws, all things which they promote order. Right? That is part of our comeliness, right? Which is the, the, the garments, which is the garments is your understanding. Right? Um So let's get that real quick. I might have to get my uh uh Greek, uh, Greek and Hebrew, uh, Strong's Bible. Get that real quick. It's like an interlinear, interlinear Bible, Hebrew, Greek, English. Right? You can uh, Google that. For those, for those that study the text, right, this is a good thing. Uh, good uh, study tool to have, right? Um, because it has the Hebrew, the Old Testament, the Greek, uh, New Testament, and it has the English for those, uh, the English translation right next to it, and it also has the Strong's uh, numbers, concordance numbers to look them up, right? 
which is uh so I can get that first. The interlinear Bible, Hebrew, Greek, Greek, English, with strong concordance numbers above each word. Right? Um let's see, Deuteronomy. Let's go to twenty-eight. It might not be twenty-eight. <laughs> A little under the weather, but like the scriptures say, um, right, Yahweh right, through the through the uh, Apostle Paul, right, he said, the grace of the Lord is is uh, sufficient uh, for me. So do I need twenty eight? Um, Be Leviticus, that's like it.
type in uh, see if this will work. Here it is, Deuteronomy 26 and 19, right? Deuteronomy 26 and 19, and to make thee high above all nations, which ye have made in praise and in name and in honor, that thou mayest be a holy people unto the Lord thy God, as he had spoken, right? Which the previous verse says, the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he, have, he had promised thee, that thou shalt keep all his commandments. But look at this. Right? So at the end of the day, right, Israel would be, right, exalted, right, above all nations. Right? Starting with the remnant, right? Which is, uh, uh, right? Eliah 1. What does that mean? Elevation, right? It also speaks about the Most High, right? Which is uh, Yahweh, right? But we're going to be part of that order, right? Yahweh, right? Yahweh Shai, right? You're going to have King David, and you're going to have, right? You're going to have, right? The, the uh, uh, right? The throne of David, right? Which is, right? Uh, the 144,000, right? The 12 apostles, right? And then the great multitude, right? It says, supreme, most, most on high, higher, uh, of Davidic king exalted above monarchs, name of God, of rulers, either monarchs or angel princes, high, Right, in terms of right, um, upper echelon esque type uh, rulership, right? And do Rodney 26 and 19, right? Peculiar, right? Going something else. But let's go back to um, right. So like, yeah. Isaiah 52 and 1, right? It says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy two beautiful garments. O Jerusalem, the holy city, from henceforth there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and the unclean, right? Uh, which the Hebrew says, I warrior, I warrior, Labashia. Uh, Izaka, right, um, which means awake, awake, right, Iwar also means, right, to be blind, right, um, and, uh, right, let's see, let's 
just go to uh, Google. Um, Google Translate. See what else we can get out of that. Because I'm pretty sure it's something else, right? Which is why, right, it's important to stir up your minds uh, by way of remembrance, right? Not just by going into prophecy, by going into the Hebrew, going into the Greek, right? Blind, sightless, right? Let me check something out real quick. Uh, I know it's something else. Skin, right? De also denoting, right, like, uh, right, uh, skin of animals. And I believe nakedness, let me double check. <coughs> yep, also denoting nakedness, right? Or, uh, uh, like it says in Genesis chapter 3. Right, um, the serpent, which was uh, more more uh, cunning, I believe. Let's get that real quick. Genesis three. Actually, I got it right here. Genesis chapter three says what. Genesis 3 and 1 and the serpent was more cunning about every animal of the field which Yahweh God had made right and that word for Yahweh God is Yahweh Elohim right Yahweh of powers right uh, which you don't read originally in, in the previous chapters right because it didn't need to be right it's written right because it was understood that all things were created by uh the most high right yeah how about shimmy shy right um so that word for cunning is iram right which is uh cognate with with ivar right which is right which denotes um to be cunning but anyways right so I worry I worry Labashia Izaka right awake awake clothe yourself Labash as meaning uh, fierceness right or strength right the Ka meaning denoting to to be right um, to Zion, right? To Zion, right? Clothe yourself, Labashia, Bagadia, right? With garments, right? Taparathaka, right? For comeliness, right? Yerushalayim, uh, Ayar Hakodash, Jerusalem, the seat, the holy city. Kayala ah, Yawasayap, right? Because will not uh, will not be gathered, right? Um, Yaba, Baka, they that come in unto thee, Iwad again, right? Iral, uncircumcised, Watama, and the unclean. Right, and what is this? Our strength is this word, right? The law which promotes order, the prophecies which uh, the Lord God has spoken and where He will not turn back, right? So it says, Isaiah 52 and 2 Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thy, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. 
right? Uh, which is Hath Hathanaiaria, uh, which is Nayar, meaning right, a shoe, also means to shake, not like Mawat, which means to totter, right? Right, um, my Ipar, right, shake yourself from the dust, my Ipar. Rise, Kwamya. Right. Uh, Shabaya. Right. To to sit. Right. Rise and sit. Uh, Yerushalayim. Right. Hathapatach. Right. Open up. Right. Meaning open up. Right. Patach meaning door or to open. Right, because you got to open your mind, has to be right, like Elder Pastor says. Right, you the most high has to tap into your pineal gland and open your mind into this understanding in order to receive it. Right, um, Ma Mawasarya, right, and that goes into uh, uh. Uh, right, Mami of Sar or Sawar, which is the root word, is to turn back. Right, turn back. Right, Taz Taza Araka. Right, or Tazaraka. Right, uh, uh, turn back from your neck. Right, Taza Ar. Right, that's the word for neck. Right. Turn back from your neck. Shabaya, captivity. Right. Because in times past, it was about the uh, the yokes upon the necks of our people. But now is the yoke, it's a, it's a spiritual yoke upon your mind. Right. We were once as Gentiles, right, like scriptures say. Right? Following the way of the Gentiles. Right? But Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? It's called out a remnant of his people into his marvelous light, which is the understanding, right? Uh, Self awareness, right? The understanding of what the Lord's will is, right? To us, towards us, and towards our enemies, right? Which the Most High God, right? Has declared that 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 we should suffer for for the sins of our forefathers, but he has also shown that in due time our enemies will be destroyed, and that time is hastening as the days pass. Right, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai poured this understanding, right, and I know those that are in, are in this understanding, right, they know. Right, that it is, um, it is a precious thing. Like uh, Yahweh Shai said in the parable, the kingdom of heaven got uh, a man who found a pearl, right, in a field, sold all that he had, and he. Let's get that real quick. Actually, I don't remember. What is it? Uh, Matthew thirteen. Matthew chapter 13 verse 45 again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant a man seeking goodly pearls who when he found one pearl of great price he went and sold all that he had and bought it right the scriptures say right in the book of Proverbs right to buy the truth and sell it not right because it's the precious thing you buy it right by receiving right uh the the talents that that the lord has given you right when he brings you into this thing and your job is to multiply the talents so you're not selling it right but right but through the means of what trading right through the means of growing in the understanding right you're multiplying the talents 
you're not se you're not selling the truth you're, you're multiplying it right right be a be a trade be a right laboring in this word right you buy it and you sell it not right which is understanding right which is given freely but you buy it by what uh, seeking the Lord's face through this, through the, through the word, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's what it's about, right? Uh, it says, uh, "Turn back from your neck of captivity, daughter of Zion." Right. By, right, opening your mind, being open to this understanding, and ultimately, right. Growing in this thing, right? Isaiah 52 and 3 For thus saith the Lord, you have sold yourselves for not, and you shall be redeemed without money, right? Kaya, Ka Amar Yahweh, right? Because thus, Ka says Yahweh, uh, Hanam, for not, right? Namakarathim, right? You have sold yourself. Right, what did Laban uh, say to Jacob? Right, you will not serve me for naught, for nothing. Right, Hanam, that's what that means. Right, Makar meaning right to sell. Right, Atham meaning you. Right, you sold yourself. Right, so you, right, you have sold yourself for naught. Right, meaning. Right, we lived uh, through the curses, right? We were sold into captivity, right? Because, right, we have forsaken Yahweh Shai, his word, right? The order that comes with the word, right? The, 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 the heritage that was taken away, and now it's being turned, our captivity is being turned back, right? Little by little, like it says in the law. Right? So now, right, to the, now we're in the days of rejoicing. We're not in the days of the woe is me spirit. We're in the days, right, of preparing for the, for the, uh, to the battle, which is a spiritual battle, right, which is through this word, right? The captive exile hasted is that he may be loosed, right? We hasten, right, and in the day of Yahweh Hashem Shai by laboring, right, speaking his word. Right, doing the sit downs, right? And, um, right, we have to constantly, right, ask ourselves, what are we doing for the ministry? Am I just going out and teaching, or should I be doing more, right? That is what we should be asking, uh, right, ourselves day by day, right? What, what do I need to work on, right? You, so you or we even when you do the sit downs, right? It's not always going super deep, right? Sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board, right? Go back to basic breakdowns, or you can go into the Hebrew, right? Right? Like the Apostle says, right? Just you can search a word on the blue letter and make a build up, build a lesson off of that, right? Salakia. <laughs> so like <clears throat> right, so Hanam Makaratham Namakar Namakaratham Right For now you have sold yourselves Wala Bakasap Taka'al Right And not upon silver Right, you will be Redeemed Right, because you have uh, Ga'al, which means Kinsman, right Right, which means to buy back. Then you have pada, meaning to redeem, but it really means right uh, to preserve. Right, two different words. Right, how how shy, right, uh, to deliver. 
right? Not Hazar, right to guard. Right? So this actually means to buy back, not to redeem. Right? Pada, right? Let's look at that. Redeem. So you can't always go off the uh, Strong's Concordance, right? This Ga'al means to buy back. Pada meaning, Pada meaning to preserve, right? Kwana meaning to possess, right? To purchase. This is what it means to redeem. Wana. Right. What does redeem mean? Let's, let's look at that. Compensate for the faults or bad aspects of something, right? Right. So when it when it says in Deuteronomy 28, 68, no man will redeem you, right? That word is kwana, right? So you gotta know your uh, meaning of words, right? So there you go. Pada to preserve. When I redeem all, that means to buy back. You sold, you have sold yourselves for not, you, have, you will be redeemed without money, right? As it says in the law, as it says in the prophecies, what does the scripture say? That what? The law for captives shall be uh, delivered, right? What does it mean by law for captive? Does it literally mean, right, lawfully we were, we were, uh, right? According to the law, Esau went into the law and he said, okay, well, the Lord said that, that, that the, the Israelites will go into captivity, right? So that means we can put them in slavery. That means the Bible will justify slavery. Well, really, that is what happened because Esau knows who we are. Christopher Columbus, when he came to the Americas, Cristobal Colon, whatever you want to call him. Right, they knew that 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 they were they were Jews here in America before it was America, right? The uh, the Aboriginals, right, of North and South America, which we are the same people. We're, we're the same clans and tribes at the end of the day, and you see that, and within the way how we how we look, how we dress, how we right conduct ourselves. With the salt of the earth, like the scriptures say, right? So yeah, that is what happened, right? The Bible prophesies, uh, it, 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 right? The Most High sanctioned the Israelites to go into captivity, right? And right by lawful captive, what does that mean? It means that, right? We were we we we, we were we were put into subjugation. Right, we're subject to payments, right? We're subject to uh right to contracts, right, with Esau through his through whether you get a license, whether you right, 
whether you have a uh, lease, whether you have a, uh, uh, whether you have a, um, what do you call it, a mortgage, whether you have, uh, whether you're making payments on a car, whether you buy, say you buy a motorcycle, right? That's that's part of right because at the end of the day we are we're all an Esau system in one way or another, right? Um, let's get that real quick. I know that's in Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 24. Shall the prey be taken for the mighty, or the lawful captive be delivered? Right? But thus saith the Lord, even the captains of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with he, and I will save thy children. Right? And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am this, thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Jacob. Right? So we are the prey. Right? The mighty is what? Esau. These are the nations. Right? Because if you read on down Isaiah 50, chapter 52, it says what? My people aforetime went down into Egypt, and the Assyrian oppressed them. Right? This goes back to the ancient Egyptian captivity. It even goes back to the bond of Jacob. Which they were Assyrians, they were Shemites. These same people are participating in the uh, uh, downfall of Israel, right? Why? Because in this time, right, they're serving their belly, they're serving, right, Esau, right? But all that is going to be taken away, right, through these famines that are coming, through, through destruction, right? Division that the Most High has put in the, upon the planet in, in, in the midst of the earth, right? That's why it says, right, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, right? So at the end of the day, when these, when all these calamities, right, come to pass, right, and we're entering the time, right, of the, of the Revelation chapter 6, right, the black horse, which is the king coming dearth and coming famine, right? The mills, the grinding is, is slowing and and what's going to happen is that, right, there, and, and you see it happening now. You see what? These, these, recently I saw on my Twitter, right, you see Amazon, right, they're coming with these, uh, you just walk in and you, and you grab, you grab what you're going to grab. And, uh, and, and you can walk out, right? It's all wireless, right? That's all. All roads lead to the Karagma, right? Not everyone is gonna is gonna want to deal with that, right? The majority of people are not gonna deal with that, which is gonna what? Create more dissension, more division, right? People are not, right? They're not gonna take that, right? Just just sitting back and and they're not just gonna, right? There's gonna be there's going to be um what do you call it sabotage there's going to be all kinds of uh and you see it happening right with these processing plants right you see sabotage on, on multiple levels right which have not uh been seen before right so the scriptures say that what they will not regard the princes and whatnot right so at the end of the day, right, you're going to have, right, when, when all hell breaks loose, right, even when the Karagma is issued, right, and then, right, all World War Three breaks out, 
right? You're gonna have what? The mountains be filled with blood with sling, right? The waters are gonna be defiled, right? The nuclear, uh, right, fallout, right? You're gonna have men drinking their own piss, their own blood, right? You're gonna have, right, uh, these Edomites, right, and these other nations just, just eating their, their own children's flesh, and that's the Lord, he's gonna, that's him putting the curses on them, right, back, right, putting the curses uh, on them, but that's going to happen when you have to have the rest of these prophecies, right, come to pass, right, and in that day, right, they're going to know that that the, that the Yahweh uh, ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yahweh Hashem Yom Shai. Right? So it says, Isaiah 49 and 24, right? The prey taken to be, shall the prey be taken away from the mighty? Yes. The answer is yes. The lawful captive delivered? Yes. Because ultimately, right, we're going to be justified. We're going to be delivered. Lord is going to glorify the remnant of his people, right? The remnant, right? She's talking about, right, you get back. Right, so that's, that's like it. That's talking about the elect. The elect are going to be delivered, right? We're going to watch... Right, Abarat, uh, uh, Adawan Rataza, right, meaning Lord willing, if, if we're of that number, right, we're gonna, we're gonna watch America Babylon the Great be destroyed, right, <coughs> and we're not gonna watch these other nations eat their own children and, right, and being drunken with blood, meaning they're, they're gonna literally. They're not going to actually, like, be drunk with blood, but they're going to have, like, it's going to be blood everywhere, and, you know, so, right, at the end of the day, vengeance is of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right, those that understand, but check this out, right, and, uh, so as you saw, right, Queen Elizabeth is is dead and right like Elder Apostle Har said she's in the she's back her spirit is back with the most high right she's in the spirit world right she's seen right all the, the holy angels right the, the heavenly father right all all so-called black men right the most high right say right through his ministers right the, right you're an Edomite Right? When you go back, when you come back down on planet Earth, you're going to be born into captivity. Right? So, that's that's just what's happening. She's, she's back in the right mind. Right? She's not a goddamn, uh, uh, um, right? She's not in her Edomite mind state. Right? She's just a spirit and she's back to the one that created her. Right? She's not in no heaven or hell. Right? She's in the spirit world. Right? Like Elder, the, like Elder Pastor said, right? Um, Pastor Paul, he said that he, he, he had a vision of, of, of being in paradise. Right? He saw things that cannot be uttered. Meaning he saw the glory of, of the uh, fourth dimension. Right? Where, right, the third dimension is just based off of, uh, physically what you see and what you can, what you can touch, right? Fourth dimension is more than that. It's, it's what you can see and what you cannot, what you cannot touch, right? Um, <clears throat> so check this out, right? And people are, people... People aren't gonna take this just, just, just okay, right? 
oh yeah, you know, wireless Amazon store, right? There's going to be right riots, right? There's going to be right. We're telling you what's what's written in the Bible, right? In the scriptures, right? We're telling you the, the things that are coming, right? We are just uh, um, we have been given a message, and that's it, right? We're telling you these things are coming, right? And you got to deal with it, right? Um, because the day of the Lord's wrath, right, um, has to be brought forth as well, right? Because you nations, you have the iniquity that you have to pay for, right? Esau has to pay for his iniquity as well, right? Whether you believe it or not, right, these days are being, uh, shortened, they're hastening, Right? And ultimately, many would take the paragma. Many are going to take the paragma. Many are going to, uh, whether you take it or not, it doesn't matter. If you're the elect, that's what matters, right? So whether you take it or not, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't mean uh, uh, that doesn't mean anything. Because World War Three is still coming. Right? Destruction is coming. FEMA camps are coming. Right? All these things, right, have to be fulfilled. Right? Um, so here is Isaiah 52 and 4. For thus, uh, the Lord God, for thus saith the Lord God, my people went down aforetime time into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Right, so we went down in Egypt, right? Were there Assyrians in Egypt? No, it's talking about right Jacob Laban, right, which was his, of his own kindred. Right, there's a reason why Abraham was called out of the land of Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is Greek, so you just, just to remind you, right, when we use terminologies like uh, the Paleo Hebrew, Paleo is a Greek word, it just means ancient. Right, when you say Mesopotamia, you're really talking about the Fertile Crescent, you're talking about Aram, the land of Aram, which is a, a Shemite people, right, they're back today. When you talk about Persia, you're talking about Elam, Ayalam, Elam, which are East Indians, they're back today. All these nations are back today. Right, when you talk about Babylon, ancient Babylon, you're talking about Iraq, right, the same people. Right, that you read about in Psalms chapter 83, which says what? Asher is also joined unto them, right? Which is Assyria, which is the same people dwelling in these, these lands called what? Chaldea, 
right? Chaldeans, Babylonians, right? Which is in Lower Mesopotamia, right? Um, what's the other one? Uh, Haran, right? Which is Upper Mesopotamia, right? And uh, like Elder Yashwamba said, right, you have right the ancient Babylonian Empire, right, which is the Tower of Babel, right, which was goes back to Nimrod, right, which were Kushites, and then you have the Neo Babylonian uh, Empire, right. So, um, when you read, right, um, right, let's read that real quick. Asher, Ashawar, which is really just Asher, Ashar, right? Uh, Ashur, Assyria, a step, the second son of Shem, ancestor of the Assyrians, people of Assyria, the nation of Assyria, the land, Assyria, Asher, um, Asur, Thur, Assyria, right? Which uh, in Assyria says, um, Athawar. Asher, Yashar, good gracious, right? Ashar really just means to be contentful, right? They gave the tribe of Asher, right? It just means contentful, to be content, right? Right, Ashur, Ashar also means witch, like like that which is. It also means steps, right? Like my step, my steps. Asharia, right? So when you say Yahweh Shem Yahushai, guard my steps, you say Yahweh Shem Yahushai, um, or keep my steps, keep the way of my uh, of my feet. Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, uh, Shamar Asharia, right? Meaning, right, guide my way, right? So yeah, for thus saith the Lord God, my people went down for time to Egypt to sojourn there, and they seared and oppressed them without cause, right? Kaya Ka Amar, Adonai, Yahweh, Matazarium, Yarad, right? Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, right? E uh, Egypt, right? Matazarium, Yarad went down, my people, Imania, Amya, right? Barra Ashana. Right, and uh, right, Ra'ash meaning right, the head or summit, but it also means in a four time, right, Russia, Russia one. Ba Rashana, right, in a four time, uh, La Gawar, right, to sojourn, Shum hither. Wa Ashar, Ba Apas, Ashak, right? And, and, and the Assyrian upon extremity, right? Because that's what Apas means, an extremity, 
right? Extremity of a garment or extremity, right? From the ends of the earth, from one extremity to the other, right? And it's talking about also poetically for severeness, right? Severely, right? A shock, oppression. So really it's talking about, right, to treat one unjustly. All right. To defraud, right, exhort, extort, right. Really, right, a shock is it, that's like ex, 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 extort. Right, extortion. Right, oppression is really uh, uh, lachatz. Right, let's get that in uh, Google Translate. Right, extortion, that's what that is. for extortion. The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. It's extraction. Right? Blackmail. Shakedown. Right? Let's get Distortion synonyms so that is right extortion. Co co coercion, fraud, bite, arm, badger, elicit, exact, extract, rest, ring, bleed, bully. Chantage, exaction, overcharge, blackmail, ransom, racket, pressure, vampirism, graft, fleecing, gouging, highway robbery, overcharging, corruption, right, shakedown, break in, hold up, extortion, bite, compulsion, payoff, stealing, right. So you goddamn idiots got a lot to pay for, right? The Most High is gonna destroy you, right? Edomites destroy you, other nations, right? And you cannot stop, right? The words of Yahbashim Yom Shai, right? These things that will happen, right? So you gotta pay, right? For for not only for 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 what you're doing, you gotta pay. For the sins of your forefathers, right? For your insolence, right? So let's go back to that action and see what that says. Right? So it's not always that deep, right? But look, right? We're, 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 right? At the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta make full proof of your ministry, 
right? If you have understanding, right? Scriptures say what? It is better for a man um, that, sh that showeth his wisdom instead of hiding it, right? So if you know something, right? You, you gotta, you gotta, right? Uh, right? Edify, right? Um... Actually, that's it for that. Right? Extortion. Right? Because that's what... And that, that that fits the narrative. Right? That's on point. Because that's what Laban did. He, ex, he extorted... Um, Jacob. Right? Isaiah 52 and 5. Now therefore... What have I here, uh, saith the Lord, Zalaki, that my people is taken away for naught. They that rule over them, make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Right? Wa'aitha, maya lawa, laya, pa, right? And now, who, maya, right? Who is for me, right? Laya Pa here or hither. That means here or hither. Right? Um Naam Yahweh, right? Utters right Naam meaning to utter, right? Or right. That's what that means. Utters Yahweh. Just like Balaam he said he had he he has seen the visions of of God and uttered his 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 words Naam right um right Kaya la Maya right because it's taken my people for not Hanam right Mashal Mashal Mashalwa right they that rule over them Right, Yahai Yahayalayel. Right, they make them to howl. Right, said others Yahweh. Right, and Wa Watamayar. Right, and continually call um Hayawam. All the day, Shemaya, my name, Manats, right, Manataza, right, Nataza, meaning uh, to what? To pr to provoke, right, right. So all the day and continually. All day, my name is is of provocation, right? Because our people are, are stiff necked, right? They hear, right? We tell them they're God's chosen people. We tell them salvation is coming, right? But they don't want to hear that, right? They're too busy with with the, the things of this world, right? To them, it is a it is a um, when we say Yahweh Hashem Shai, when we say Destruction is coming. It's it's a provocation unto them, right? Right. So right, or people are taken away by by the foolishness of this world, right? They that rule over them, right? Being these other nations, right? Esau through his system, through his propaganda, through his lies, right? Our people, our people, how, right? Because, right? Scriptures say what that you would grow up in the daytime and at night, right? Meaning, right? You would, you would always, right? Wonder why is this happening? Why, why is there no peace? Why is there, right? Why, why me? Why? Why? Because is it because I'm, I'm brown? Is it because I'm black? No, it's because of the curses. 
It's because we're a nation in exile. It's because this is not our time on this side, right? Uh, um, right? Our world is in the world to come, which is, right, Lord God is going to hasten that day. And he's hastening it as we speak, right? So we're supposed to, our job is to what? Day by day, utter knowledge, right? Like it says in Psalms chapter 19, through, via the internet, via, right, the understanding that we have. Right through the power of Spirit, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakodash. Like scriptures say, right, go to all nations and and what, uh, 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 anoint them in my name. Right, teach them. Right, it's talking about our people. Right. So the name of our Lord, right, is continually right. It's, it's just a, it's a provocation, right, to two thirds of our people, right. Just a provocation, you know, they because they don't understand, they've been blinded, right? Whatever the case may be. Isaiah 52 and 6. Therefore, my people shall know my name. I U I C. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. Right? Lakan, meaning therefore. Uh Yadai, right? will know I'm yet right my people Shemaya my name Lakan therefore by Yawam Ha Hawa uh, um but really it's Hawa right because there's ha two ha's there Hawa right which is uh, uh, the Arabs, which is why they write it like this, right? They would write, um, right, through the form of diacritics, right, which is what the, the vowel points, right, here in the Hebrew they're called vowel points, but they're called diacritics. In Arabic, it would be written because you don't, what you, what you read in a text, you don't necessarily pronounce bit by bit. Right, so that's ha, wa, a, and the, 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 this little w here means it's just repeated, it just, it just, it sounds like you're saying it twice, but you're only saying it, you're saying it, you're only saying it, sounds like you're saying it once, but you're actually uttering it twice to your breath, ha, wa, wa. Right, so the the W means you you just saying it twice. Like, um, pa, parar. Right, this is pa, and that little W just means pa rar. So you don't have to write it twice, but you're uttering it twice. Right, so. Lakan Yadai Amaya Shamaya Lakan Bayawam Hawa right Therefore will know my people my name therefore in the day right uh that is Hawa mini he Haya mini she Hawa also means that is or it is right Kaya because Anaya Hawa because I am He, right? Hama the Bar, right? He that is the one He of of speaking. Ha meaning He, Ma meaning of the Bar meaning to to uh, speak. He that speaks. Hananaya, behold I. Behold it is I, right? Or behold I. Right? And this lines up with the next verse, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. Right? It's talking about the prophets of old. Right? It's talking about us that are bringing the tidings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is what the, the, we're coming in the spirit of the former prophets. Coming in, in, in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, 
which is the spirit of prophecy, with the things that our Lord Yahweh Shai spoke about that will happen in the latter days, right? Letting our people know, right, his name, right? Letting them know it is, right, he that is speaking through us, right? Ma Na'awa Al Haharayim, right? Meaning, um, right, ma, meaning what, or how, right, ma, na'awa, right, the na just means, it just makes it like a verb, right, so if you say, right, um, Nashabai, right? That is, that means an action. That it means to swore, right? Something that was already done, or you, right? You make or to make an oath, right? Or na, um, or 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 Nashamai, meaning, right? It was heard. Right, it also makes it a word like uh, uh, past tense, right? Something that already happened, <laughs> right? So, right, um, ma na awa, right? Awa meaning to desire, right? How desirable. Upon the mountains, right, Regaliah are the feet, right, Ma Bashar, Bashar is the Hebrew equivalent of gospel, right, or tidings, good tidings, right, Tawab Bashar, right, or Bashar Tawab, right, tidings, good, right, um, Ma. Mashamayai, right? Which means like a uh, a a rumor or a report, right? So, Manaawa Al Haharayim, right? How desirable upon the mountains are the feet of 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 the of of the tidings. Of, of reports peace ma shamayai right the ya makes it plural so you're not going to say ma shamay ma shamayim because that's going to in the hebrew you don't you don't always put the yum right at the end because this is talking about right um Report. There's a word following the uh, uh, tidings of peace, right? Or, or right, report of peace, right? Which is the gospel, which is salvation, right? Which is coming for remnant of our people, right? Of tidings good, my Bashar. Bashar also means flesh, or to uh, boil or roast, right? Actually, I'm not going to, you can look that up yourself, right? Of tidings good, of a report of salvation, right? And this is what we're doing, right? Through this word, right? Say to Zion, Amar, Latazion, right? Malak, meaning king, or to reign, reigns, your God reigns, right? Reigns your God. Malak Alahayaka, right? Because ultimately, those that understand this truth, right, we know that Yahweh Shem is in control of all things. We know, right, that the earth is given into the hands of men, right, to the men of this world, 
right, that have their portion in this world, but, right, our job, right, is we have been uh, consecrated, right, to be separated, right, in order to speak, right, the things that have been given unto us, right, um, which brings me to my, uh, to the next verse, Isaiah 52 and 8, thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion, right? So qual, meaning voice, right? Tazapayaka, right? Um, which is where you get the word Tazapan, meaning north. Well, tazapan also means like a, a covering, right? Because the sky is a covering for the inhabitants of the earth, right? Or matazapa, which is means like a, a watchtower, right? Because the eyes of the watchmen are the coverings for the people, right? Because they see the trouble coming and they, right? They make um, they make it known. Right, or to the inhabitants of the city, whether there is peace coming or a sword, right? That's where you get the word watchtower from. Matazapa, right? So we're the covering, right, for our people, right? They were the remnant, right, that are watching at the Lord's gate. Right, like it says in the book of Proverbs, right, those that do not, right, or as those who love death, right, because that's what's coming, right, great mourning, right, great death, right, scriptures say that what, uh, within and without is written woes and lamentations, right, it's talking about the scriptures, right, um, Proverbs chapter, uh, That's chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8 and 34. Um, we'll start at 32. Now therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, shall obtain favor of Yahweh Shemi al -Shai. But he that sinneth against me, that wrongeth his own soul, all they that hate me love death. Right? So our job is to watch. Be a watchman to the house of Israel. Watch at the gates. Right? Blow the trumpet when, when we see a sword. Right? Um, so it says, right? Take off the vowel points. Right? Uh, qual tazapayaka. Right? The, the voice, right, of your of your watchman, right, Nasha, right, to lift up or to bear, they will lift up the voice, Qual, Yahad, together. Yarananawa, right, they will cry because I, um, because I, upon I, they will see, right, for right because right we see right we've been envisioned given envisions of, of what the things that will come to pass right and ultimately right we're of that number we're gonna see eye to eye right so what does it say uh let's get that in uh Corinthians right just get that here because I may have another preset please get that what does it say in uh, the book of Corinthians it says what um, first Corinthians chapter uh
1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 12, right? Verse 9, for we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then when that which is in part shall be done away. <clears throat> when I was a child, I spake as a child, understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, even also as I am known. Right? And part of, right, that right we so we prophesy in part we know in part right but ultimately right when that day comes we're gonna, we're gonna see these things face to face right so our job now is to lift up the voice right then we're gonna see these things right come to pass we're gonna see eye to eye right we're gonna ultimately see the salvation of israel right that what we see in part is gonna be done away with right because yet yeah, the right the most high right he's putting his spirit on the elders and apostles of great millstone and their their affiliates right those that are in their camp to do videos videos constantly grinding right like a great like a millstone right which is right to grind meal right these other camps right even those that are not right giving you 100 percent truth but they still right they're doing the work right they're teaching our people right that there is lights ISUPKIUIC, so we don't hate them, right? But we reprove them, right, for not, right, saying, giving the whole understanding. Yeah, we commend them, but we're at, we're here for correction as well, right? <coughs> right. So our job is to what? Uh, um. Um wipe on that glass right like it says in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 12 right we see through a glass darkly but then face to face right which is why it says you get that in the book of james what does it say um book of james chapter 1 and verse 23 for any be a, for if any be a hearer of the word and i a doer he's like a man beholding his natural face in a glass for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way straight away forgetteth what some matter what matter of man he was right so though right there's a man that right uh behold his face in a glass but immediately right the glass gets foggy, right? The job of us, the watchman, is to what? Wipe that glass, right? Right, and show you who you are, right? Um, so it says, right? So they will see eye to eye, right? About Shawab. Shawab meaning to turn back, right? It's same as uh, Sawar, right? When upon turning back, Bashawab Yahweh Taziah, right? Upon turning back, Yahweh, right? When he brings back Yahweh to Zion, right? When he brings back, right? The Lord brings back Zion, right? So Shawab is like to bring back, right? Sawar is, is like to turn back, to turn away. Right. Like Elder Pastor said recently, there's an analogy that he used. He said, "What? Not people don't want right. Uh, you order, you go to a restaurant, you pay good money, right? You're not going to want a a lukewarm. You're not going to want a cold meal, nor you're not going to want a lukewarm, right? You're going to want that thing to to burn burn your tongue." Right, you want you want it to be on fire. Right, you don't want no lukewarm, you don't want no cold, right, soup or whatever the case may be. Right, you want that thing to be on fire, right, which is how we have to be in this thing. Right. So there you go. Right, 
And when you when it's not on fire, what do you do? You you, you turn it back, right? Sawar, right? Shawab is more like, right? You bring something back, like you know, um, like you say, well, I'm bringing back, right? Um, I'm bringing back this verse, right? Or if someone gives you a bad verse. You're gonna turn it back. No, that's not the verse I need. That's that's Sawar. Shawab means okay, I'm gonna bring back this is a good verse, I'm gonna bring it back. Right? So it says Isaiah 52 and 9. Break forth into joy. Sin together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. The Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. Right? Um Patazach, right? Meaning to break asunder. Or not necessarily break asunder, but to break open. Right? Uh, cry, cry out. Rananaw. Together. Yahad. Right? Harab, meaning sword. It also means like like a uh, parched, parched area. Right? Which is Horeb. Was called horror because it was like a desert land, right? Harabawath, Harabath, right? Meaning desolate, right? Place, places. That makes the thigh makes a plural of Yerushalayim, right? Because Naham, Kaya Naham, right? Because he had comforted Yahweh, his people, Yahweh Imawa, Gaal Yerushalayim. He had bought back Jerusalem. Right? The Lord is 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 gonna buy us back, right? Through our kinsmen, through our through our redeemer, Yahweh Shai Hamashayah, right? He's gonna Kwana, right? Right now, right, he's Pada, he's preserving us, right? But he's gonna buy us, right? He's gonna possess us, meaning with the chariots, we're gonna be caught up. He's gonna possess us, Kwana, purchase, right? Because him as a kingsman, Gaal, right, he's gonna buy us back. And he already did that, right? Through his blood, right? As is through being a living sacrifice. And we're being a living sacrifice, right? Which is a reasonable service unto, right? The remnant of our people, right? So they can get this word, right? So all things work hand in hand, but he he is our our kinsman, Gaal Redeemer, or, or uh, he's gonna buy us back. That's what Gaal means. Salakia. Isaiah fifty-two. Salakia. Why the hell I pressed that? Isaiah 52 and 10. Hashab, meaning, right, he had made bare Yahweh to his arm holy. Right? Hashab, Yahweh, Atha, Zarai, Kwadash. Zarai meaning arm and it also means seed. Right? Laiyanya, call Hagawayim, Ra. Wa ra'a, right? For la iyanya, for the eyes of all the nations, right? Right? So the Lord had made bear to his holy arm, right? For the eyes of all nations, right? And we'll see wa ra'a, right? And we'll see. Call a pasaya arataza, right? All the extremities of the earth to Atha Yashawai 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 Tha, right? Really, you can just read Yashawai to the salvation, Allah Hayanahu, our God, right? The Tha really is just to show you grammatically that. Yahshua and Allah Hayana was is is right 
is going together. Right? So what does that mean? Right? Ultimately, the Lord is going to show you through the ends of the earth, like it says in the scriptures, all eyes will see, right, from one end of the earth unto the other. Right? The tribes of the earth will mourn. Let's get that action. Right, so it says what? Matthew 24 and 30. Um, and then the sign, then will it, let's get that in the uh, NLT. Like uh, El Apostle Har is uh, been going into, right? And really, Sakari's been doing that, you know, so shout out to Sakari, right? Y'all need to repent, though, on, um, Bring your weapons to camp, but shout out, shout out to y'all and Deacon Sakari, right? I used, I used to watch him all the time, so he, 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 he knows his stuff, you know. That brother, shout out Deacon Sakari, right? Shout out to WFI, right? Them brothers, right? Them are good brothers, man. You know, at the end of the day, right? You can't do nothing against the truth before the truth right so you know right if you're speaking the word right at the end of the day those who get it will get it and those who don't they're not they weren't meant to get it right and um right shout out to brother Naquam because that brother he brought me he brought me in the truth right by the spirit of the lord right but at the end of the day right the Lord knows those that are his, right? So we want to have to, right? If you're teaching the truth and you're teaching the truth and you're not, right? You're going to die. I mean, in America, right? You're going to be destroyed, right? Thermonuclear fire, right? The whole, right? Judgment of the Lord at the end of the day, right? So whether you believe, whether you don't, right that's our job is to uh, preach right matthew 24 and 30 then at last the sign of the son of man is coming will appear in the heavens there will be deep mourning among all the peoples of the earth they will see the son on the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory right Let's get that next verse. In the uh, NLT. Right. And he will send out his angels with the mighty blast of a trumpet. And they will gather his chosen ones from all over the world. From the farthest end of the earth and heaven. Right. What does it say in Revelation chapter 1? Alright, let's get that. <clears throat> Right. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they that pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth uh, were born over him. Even so, amen. Right? So let's get, um, not sure if I skipped a, uh, so yeah we'll be lifting up the voice Isaiah 52 and 8 right right um right Isaiah 52 and 10 right he's gonna make bear his holy arm right all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God right right Isaiah 52 and 11 right Depart, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, right? That bear the vessels of the Lord, right? The vessels is what, right? 
the, 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 the body, right? Waiting for, right, the purchase to be, uh, the purchase possession, right, to be changed, right? So, sawar, sawar, taza'a, turn back, turn back, go out from hither, masham. Tama, right, defile, right? What is defiled? Al, the guy, I mean, so like al, the guy, right? The guy meaning to touch. Do, al is a, uh, right? It means do not. And then say la a or al and whatever you're saying, right? To not do. Al, the guy, right? Which means, um, so like, yeah. Turn back to back, go out from hither. What is the foul? Do not touch. Go out. Uh, Taza'a, Matawak, from the mist, right? Go out from the mist, right? The the high at the end makes it plural from the mist of her, right? Habar, right? Bar. It also means son in Aramaic, right? In the Hebrew son is ban, ban meaning to build. Also, it means, right? Bar also is is you can compare it to par, which means fruit or to be fruitful, right? Which is what you do when you have a son, right? Because you can make more sons when you have a son. When you have a daughter, right? Really, having a daughter is a curse, right? Oh, because you can't have more sons from a daughter, right? Um, but having a daughter isn't necessarily a bad thing, but, right, you get the point, right? But it says, Habar Nashaya Kalaya Yahawa, right? So that word bar meaning to purge. Right? Means purge yourselves, those that bear the vessels of the Lord, right? Purging yourself from what? From sin. To not be defiled, right? And Paul the Apostle said the same thing touch no unclean thing. Alright, let's get that. Second Corinthians six and seventeen, right? New Living Translation. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers, separate yourselves from them. Saith the Lord, do not touch the filthy things, and I will welcome you. Right? Does that mean right? You see your family, and you tell them, no, don't touch me, don't touch me. No, that means spiritually, right? You purge yourself from sin, right? Yeah, you may be with your family. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, but they offer you a pork sandwich. Right, what do you what do you what do you do? Well, you use righteous guile, right? Like Paul did. Right, Paul said, uh, um, to uh, um, slack here. Let me get that real quick. Right. So you, your family, so they offer you a pork sandwich. Oh, you know, my stomach is, I just ate, I already ate. All right. Um, what did, what did Paul say to Herod? I believe, I believe it's Herod or Agrippa.
it was Herod, uh, King Agrippa, right? Acts 26, and, um, Acts 26 and 26, for the king knoweth of these things before, um, Actually, let's start at Acts 26 and um, Acts 26 and 12, right? Let's start at verse 1. And then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth the hand and then answered for himself. Think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things where I'm accused of the Jews, whereof I am accused of the Jews. Right? Reading on down, which verse 10, which thing also, also I did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority over the chief priests, when they were put to death, I give my voice against them. Right? And I punished them oft in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme and bring exceedingly mad against them. And I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Right? Verse 12. Whereupon as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me. And then which journeyed with me. When we were fallen all to the earth, I heard a voice unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Is it is it hard for thee to kick against the pricks? Right? So that was Yahweh Shai appearing unto uh, the Apostle Paul. Right? Verse 15, And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest, but rise and stand upon by thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that, that is in me. Right? Verse 29. Um, verse 28. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day, were both almost and altogether such as I am, except these bonds. Right? Meaning, Apostle Paul is using righteous God. Right? He was essentially saying, right, I would... That you were all together, all together such as me, meaning like actually keeping the laws, which will happen in the kingdom of heaven, except right being bonded like Paul the Apostle was, right? Because we're not going to have the, 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 the Edomites just sitting in a dungeon and all rotten away, right? We're going to have them work, right? We're going to have them keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? And then we're going to, right? Over die one in eighteen, right? We're gonna put them in a pile and right and burn them up, right? Thus say the Holy Bible, right? Um. So yeah, so in few words, Paul was saying all that, but he wasn't saying all of that, right? So righteous cow, right? You know. Um. Lock it, excuse me. Right? So purge yourselves, those that bear the vessels of the Lord. Right? Touch no unclean thing. Right? Meaning what to separate from sin. Right? Isaiah 52 and 12. For you shall not go out with haste, neither go by flight. For the Lord God will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your re reward. Right? Kayala'ah, uh, 
Bahapaz, Bahapazan, Hapazwan, right? Because will not, right? In haste, right? Hapaz, not Apaz, Apaz is an extremity, right? Hapaz meaning, right, in leaping, is to leap, right? We left Egypt in leaping and hasting, right? In a rush. That's what Hapaz means, literally, to leap, right? Say you wake up and you right, you gotta you have you have a you have a doctor's appointment, you gotta you gotta do it in haste, you gotta get up and just you know, um you gotta um you gotta rush, right? Um Ta Taza because you will not right in haste go out Wa um Bamanas right and of fleeing right you will not flee right you will not go out fleeing right meaning we're not going to go out in the manner of egypt right in haste or fleeing you know you see the icbm missiles and you start running oh no i gotta run out you know i gotta run out of the uh the country no right you will not go out fleeing right Uh, la la kawan, right? Right, because right, la ka meaning to go, right? Because going, going, because you will go, right? Talakawan, kaya halak, right? Right, so kaya la hapaza wan, ba hapaza wan, right? Because you will not go out in haste. Tataza a, you will go out, right? And in fleeing, fleeing, you will not go out. You will not go out, right? To go, because will go before your face. Kaya halak panaya come. Who go before you, Yahweh, right? Wama asap asap come, right? Meaning, uh, um, right? That means your re reward, meaning he's gonna go out before you, right? Right, so the Lord doesn't go out before you, before your face, and it will be your re reward, the God of Israel. Right, and Asap it means also to gather you. Right, so the chariots are going to gather us, right. The Lord is going to go before us, Yahweh Shai. Right, and be gathered by the chariots. Right, that's what the sub means. Right. Receive, take away. Receive. Withdraw. Right. Collect. Right. And uh, let's get another one. Actually, that's it for that. So yeah, Lord willing, right? You're ratified, right? Uh, through the power of Spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakodash, right? This brother Yatazadak, hero of Israel, right? Say Kwame Asherala about Vol Shalom.
stay in the spirit, Israel.